name. We bless your name today, Father God. Lord, we honor you. We honor you and we decree the healing power of God. We thank you that by the stripes of Jesus, he's healed from the top of his head to the crown of his feet. We thank you right now. We touch and agree. We come in agreement, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, uh, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We praise you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Oh, come on now. Jesus has put a good work in you, Jim. A good work in each and every one of you. In the name of Jesus. Don't let the devil talk you out of it. In the name of Jesus. Because you know what? The Bible says he come to what? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God said, I have come that you may have life and have life more abundantly. Come on, I'm talking about the abundant life uh, that only Jesus can give you. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. I don't care what you say. It's already done. It is already done. When we say it, when we come in agreement and touch it, it's done. Don't let nobody tell you it's not because it's done. God says it's done. Whose report are you going to believe? I believe the report of the Lord. I say it is done. It is done in the name of Jesus. You will not suffer from that anymore. In the name of Jesus. We send it back. We put it back on the enemy. In the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare the glory of the Lord. We thank you. I'm not used to this, y'all. <laughs> in, the name, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The anointing and the level of anointing you carry is a major threat to the enemy. You know you're anointed. God has anointed you. It's a threat to the enemy. Use that anointing. To destroy his yokes. Use that anointing to pull down the stronghold. Use that anointing. Come on now. You have power. You know what? When you walk before Jesus, he's going to say, what did you do with your anointing? Come on now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You had power to heal the sick. You had power to cast out devils. You had power for, to see the dead raised. But you didn't do it. It's not his fault. It's yours. Come on now. We blame God for a lot of stuff. God, why didn't you hear me? Well, why didn't you open your mouth? I placed it in your mouth. Come on now. Woo! Yes, it. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. And you, if, you, if you allow Satan to make you shut your mouth, that's your fault. He said, open up your mouth and let it come out. Praise God. You have power. Oh, you got it. You got it. But what you do with it is up to you. It's a, God is not going to come back down here and do nothing for you. Because it's already done. It's already done. And you got to realize it. Hallelujah. But you know, and he's going to come. He, listen, there ain't a one of us he's not going to come to. That enemy. Because that's his job. And he does it well. We don't do ours well. Okay? We don't do ours well by rebuking him, casting him down, and say, oh, no, look, I can't. Listen, if I had to listen to people, I wouldn't be up here today. The sciatic nerve, I say, no, 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 you got to go. You, you can't, this is the wrong body. I don't know what body you're supposed to be in, but not mine. I'm going to do what God called me to do in the name of Jesus. And did I have a little pain? Yes, I did. But I send it back every time. I don't let him stop me from doing anything I want to do. In the name of, because I believe the word. I believe what God has said. I, say, I believe that he said, by his stripes I am healed. I believe it. Or I wouldn't be standing up here today. In the name of, I'd be in somebody's hospital saying, you know what, it hurt here and it hurt there. And, and you know what I'm saying? But the devil is a liar. You, listen, the hospital, all they're going to do is give you some medicine that's going to kill you.
because that's all they know how to do. But God said, I have given you power. I've given you power. And you, if you sit there and don't open up your mouth and rebuke this thing in the name of Jesus, and keep rebuking it, tell it go in the name, because the devil, go, he ain't going to stay away from you. He's going to keep on pushing it and keep on pushing it. See if he can get you to get it. If I can't get her to get it this way, I'm going to try another way. If I can't bring, bring you a cake, you don't like the cake, I'm going to bring you a pie. If I don't, you don't like the pie, I'm going to bring you something else, some candy. Maybe you'll receive the candy better. You know what I'm saying? But you have to, have to say, no, no, no. Take all your packages, take all your wrapping, and get out of here. You're not in this body. Oh, no, you ain't getting it here. In the name of Jesus, I close the doors on you in Jesus' name. No weapon. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon. I don't care what it is. It won't prosper. It won't prosper. Why? Because I'm a king's kid. And if you don't take your authority, it is not God's fault. It is not God's fault. It's yours. And you don't hear many people saying this. But I know I'm protected by the king. <laughs> I'm protected by the king. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even if you are not yet walking in the fullness of your calling and your authority, that is why it, attack can be so severe and difficult. Because the enemy want to discourage you. He want to discourage you from coming forth in Jesus. He want to discourage you. You don't have a testimony. You don't have nothing. Who are you to say you can, you can speak for God? You can speak the word of God. Who are you? It's not the person. It's you. Now, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? That, you know what? There's a there's there, there's street ministry everywhere we go. Then you and you don't just have to be in a pulpit to, to minister. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh no, there's ministry all over the place. And you see how God is pulling the 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 the, the, the uh, abilities off of the pastors. Oh, it's about them. Oh no, it ain't. It's about Jesus. And you better be happy he used you. And you don't take his glory. Uh-uh. I'm not taking God's glory. You, you can just forget it. Um, get up and do what God called me to do. Minister his word. And I'm going to sit back down. I'm just rose. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Uh-uh. I don't need no big robe. I don't need no big nothing like that. I don't need none of that mess. All I need is the word of God. Because if he be for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when I ask him for something, he might say, wait a while. I'll wait. I'll stand. And I'll wait. If he, do, if he told me, don't get up here today. But he told me, get up here today, y'all. Okay? I check with him before I do anything. Not with him. I check with him. Okay, y'all. Okay, let's get back to the word. The devil is not, he's not able to stop you. He can, he can stagnate you for a little while. He can, you can trip up for a little while, but you can get back up. You can get back up. If you know who you are in Christ Jesus, you can get back up. And you can be strong and mightily in him. In the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. God is in control. In the name of Jesus. Come on, sweetie, by your husband. Right here. Mm -hmm. In the name, he had to be on the front. Come on, you can come on by him. You can have a seat up here. Come on. Praise God. <laughs> but you see, the enemy tries to use what? Stress, frustration, pressure, weariness to slow you down. <laughs> and he wants to wear you out. See? He wants to wear you you out to the place where oh lord i can't do this i can't do that i can't do this one thing or the other but you've got to know greater is he that is in you 
than he that is in the world. Get your word and begin to kill that devil. Say, you don't want to get away from me? I will tear you up in the name of Jesus. Come on now. I don't care what it is. I'm walking out of it. I'm walking out of my pain. I'm walking out of sickness. I'm walking out of disease. I'm walking out of everything that you have tried to bring against me. I'm walking out of it. Why? Because greater is he that is in me. I've got the greater one inside of me. Hallelujah. I know who the king of kings and the Lord of lords is. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Come on now. He said I can would do it. And I believe him. I believe God in the name of Jesus. So I take my authority over you, devil. You can't put this sickness on me. You got to take it back. You got to take it back. In the name of Jesus, I reverse the curse. In the name of Jesus, I reverse it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. Yeah, he, he, God didn't say he wasn't gonna, that the enemy wasn't going to send it. He said, you don't have to receive it. You can send it back. You can send it back. We sending that thing back. We sent that thing back this morning, Jim. We sent it back and we will not receive it. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare a supernatural. You gonna, you, oh, my goodness. You're going to get up and do what God has called you to do. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, you are. In Jesus' name. Yes, you are. No more sickness. No more pain. None of that mess. We send it back to the enemy. And do not. If he come knocking, oh no, at the wrong address. Wrong address here. Uh-uh. No. Wrong address. Wrong address. Not from this. Mm-mm. No. No, 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 no. We, we, we walk in full authority of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Greater insight and greater favor come to you to counteract the intensity, the intensity of the fight that the enemy will bring against you. God will give you victory. He'll give it to you. He's already given it to you. If you are a child of the king, you already got it inside of you. When you feel that thing coming upon you, you tell her, oh, no, you ain't. Get you a word for it in Jesus' name. Jesus paid the price. You didn't. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I walk in full authority. You don't have to, uh -uh, you don't have to do that. You don't have to receive what the enemy brings. You don't have to receive it. Take that package somewhere else because I ain't receiving it. I'm not receiving it. Mm -mm. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because what? As you sit with God at the table, what? He's preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Come on now. Whatever it is, God said you can sit. Because you have power and authority over all the works of the enemy. And nothing by no means shall hold you. Are you going to believe what God said? Or are you going to take what the enemy said? Now you've got a choice. You have a choice. You can lay in the bed and say, oh my goodness. Well, he's going to be right there and give you some tea and some cookies and you what do you want as long as you stay in that bed, okay? As long as I can, I can afflict you. But if you say, no, 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 I'm getting up out of this bed uh, in the name of Jesus. Come on, Jesus. You walking with me. I, you know, I know who you are. You are the king. You are, you, are, you are the righteous one. You are the holy one. Hallelujah. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And Lord, we thank and praise God. We thank and praise God. Uh -uh, there's too many people that are falling for the plores of the enemy. As I said, I wouldn't be up here today if I, did, if I, if I didn't take authority, if I didn't, if, if I didn't use it myself. I have to use it myself. In the name of Jesus. Yep. Yeah, God hit me in the side right here. Oh, Lord, what in the world is this? Okay, devil, I'm going to do even more. Mm-hmm.